to a new video. Today's video is going to be a little paint with me video in real time and I will be painting this teeny tiny little rosy maple moth. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to be painting this one. I actually wanted to paint and talk at the same time and like record everything real time but first of all I'm really bad at painting and talking at the same time so yeah that's not going to happen and second I honestly just wanted to listen to my audiobook while painting which brings me to the topic of today's video which is books I'm kind of nervous to like kind of introduce this topic to my channel but I've been wanting to make videos about books for a long time now and sometimes I just want to talk about books because I don't talk about it much on here but books are something that I spend a lot of time on reading. So I would love to talk about books and things surrounding books on my channel now and then, which I'm going to do today. Also a little warning, I am literally so bad at trying to explain what a book is about, but <laughs> I'm really gonna try. I always find it kind of hard to explain what a book is about without like giving away any spoilers but everything I'm saying is in the synopsis so yeah so I thought that I would talk about some books that I've been reading this year and especially like one of my favorite ones so you kind of get a taste of the books that I like and yeah. Okay so I am going through my 2020 shelf on my Goodreads account as we speak and I started off this year with the book Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson which is a series of three books and I read them all by the way this year but um, I absolutely loved it. Normally I'm not really the biggest fan of young adults and especially like in a school setting. So it's basically about this school or academy which is called Ellingham and it's actually a really like famous school and only kids that are really talented and like have a special gift or basically are really good at something are accepted. So Ellingham is founded by Albert Ellingham and basically when the school opened his wife and daughter were kidnapped and then Stevie, this girl who wants to be a detective, is accepted at the academy and she wants to solve this case. And yeah, basically Stevie is trying to solve this case but all these weird things happen and people die and yeah, it's just, it was really great. <laughs> I did really enjoy it. There's also a second book which is called The Vanishing Stair and also the third one which is also the last one called The Hand on the Wall. I especially enjoyed um, the first one and then the last one in the series but also the second one was really amazing so if you're into like mystery books then I think you would really enjoy them. A book I've also really enjoyed is this one called Sunday Girl by Bib Drysdale. I'm probably butchering that name but <laughs> it's basically about this girl in a really toxic relationship and she tries to get out and maybe it sounds kind of boring but it was so like creepy. I felt so anxious like the whole time I was reading this but like in a really good way and maybe toxic doesn't describe like the sicko he is like he is so creepy i oh, yeah it was i i literally felt afraid of him even though he is a character in a book but oh. and i just couldn't put it down i think i've read it in like like a day or two days maybe but yeah it was so good i think if you enjoyed gone girl then this is really a book for you because it really reminded me of gone girl um so yeah this weekend i actually finished two books wait not two three <laughs> i finished three books and i all really like them i think i gave them all four stars which is a good read i guess you can say um the first one I really enjoyed was a book called Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. So this book is about this woman called Lillian 
and she gets in contact with an old roommate called Madison and basically she gets asked if she wants to take care of her two stepkids which are twins and she's like um yeah okay then and this Madison woman is really wealthy and Lillian is kind of the opposite so she starts living in like a whole different world but basically that's not like the thing the thing is that these children catch fire like randomly and she has to take care of them and as i said i'm really bad at explaining <laughs> what books are about but that's basically it and like there was not much happening but it was a really wholesome story and I just really enjoyed it and yeah I do read a lot of like thrillers and mystery and just about murder and like sad things so sometimes I just really want to read books like this so yeah it was really nice I also read another book this weekend which is called if cats disappeared from the world and i'm not gonna try to pronounce the name of the author because it's a japanese name i think um but it's basically about this man that finds out that he will die in like a day i think was it a day i don't remember but like he will die like really soon and then he gets a visit from the devil and this character that is the devil made me laugh out loud so many times like he was like wearing a hawaiian shirt and it was it was really strange but like in a really good way but yeah he gets a visit from the devil and he's like well if you give up like one thing a day you can live longer so he gives up like different things and i don't want to spoil anything but it was like really interesting to like imagine what a world would be like without certain things because it disappears for like everyone so not only him so yeah it was again like kind of a wholesome story and it was also a really quick read but i really enjoyed it i don't have much to say about it i just really enjoyed it like it was not like a really big plot twist or anything and the same for the other one with the kids that catch on fire it wasn't like a crazy plot twist or anything but yeah it was still just a really lovely story and the last book i read last weekend was the silent treatment by abby greaves I don't know how to pronounce the name I never know how to pronounce the name to be honest but um, it's about a couple called Frank and Maggie and one day Frank finds Maggie in the kitchen and she attempted suicide and then you um, find out that they haven't spoken for six months it was a really sad story I think but it was written really well and also there was like kind of a plot twist like it's not like a mystery book or anything well there's kind of a mystery so in that sense kind of but yeah i don't know i just wanted to continue with reading this book and yeah i just really enjoyed it it was again a really sad story but nevertheless it was a really good one so yes also a book that i really 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 liked and I actually gave five stars to was Just Kids by Betty Smith. It's quite a popular book, but it's about two artists in New York in the 70s, I would say, 60s and 70s, I think. And it was just like really realistic. And yeah, I don't really have to say much about it besides the fact that I think you should just read it. Um, yeah, a book that I also really loved was An Anonymous Girl by Claire Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. They also wrote The Wife Between Us and I also read that one and I think I gave it three stars. Like I did enjoy it but I don't think it was like the best book ever. But this one was it was good it's about this woman Jess that doesn't have a lot of money and then one day she signs up for this study by Dr Shields and all she has to do is like answer questions and first it's just questions and she gets a lot of money for it but then the questions grow more and more intense and it becomes like really weird and she has to do really like weird stuff but 
still she gets a lot of money for it so she's like well okay because she really needs the money but yeah it was it was weird but in a good way um and yeah if you did read the wife in between us and you didn't really like it i really do think you would like this one a lot better i also read my first stephen king novel which was called elevation which is about this man that keeps losing weight but it doesn't show and like it's really strange because for example when he weights himself and he's like on the scale and he takes off his jacket or just like his shoes or something like the weight on a scale doesn't change i don't really know i want to say it was not my favorite one but then it's the first and only book that i ever read from stephen king so yeah i'm not really sure like i just i liked it but again i don't think it's his best work so I'm really excited to start reading more of his novels. I feel like I really could like his work, if that makes sense. So if you do have any recommendations, then please let me know. I'm just really curious about his other books because it kind of surprised me that I never read anything from him before. But that's the case with a lot of books, actually. Um, yeah. I also really want to start reading more classics, but... I am kind of getting into them. I'm reading Little Women at the moment and I really do like that one. I also read The Bookshop by Penelope Fitzgerald this year and I also really like that one. I think I gave it 3 stars on Goodreads but I think I'm gonna change it to 4 because I really liked it actually. I did think it was like really a little bit strange now and then. Um, but then I watched the movie and like the things that I found really strange were exactly the same in the movie and it kind of changed my mind about it in a good way so I really did enjoy it. I actually saw it in the library and I just thought the book cover was really cute so I picked it up. I read The Blue Flower it is called I think last year and honestly I really did not enjoy that one. It took me so long to finish it and it's actually a really short read so um, I, I didn't realize it was from the same author otherwise maybe I would not have picked it up but I am really glad that I did because again I really liked it. I started this series called Sleeping Giants. I actually found out about this book through Brit from basically Brit. I will link her channel in the description but she is like my my internet friend and I've been watching a YouTube channel for like so long and she is actually the one that got me into reading again because when I was younger I think around like 10 11 years old I used to read so much like I would go to the library with my mom and I would pick out like seven books and then a week later I would finish them all and I kind of stopped reading when I got older eventually which is such a shame but yeah because of her channel and like her book videos I really got into reading again and I am honestly loving it so much like I actually didn't realize how much I missed reading and yeah I'm really glad I fell back into it and I'm so thankful for Brit and channel that she got me back into reading basically basically Brit <laughs> oh no why am I like this but um yeah you should definitely check out her channel if you don't follow her because yeah she's so lovely what I wanted to say was I started this series called Sleeping Giants because she talked about it in a few of her videos but it's basically about this girl that falls into a giant metal hand and then 17 years later she leads research team for like the hand and she wants to find out what the hand is and they discover all these different limbs yeah it's just like so much happens in the first book and I really love the plot twist in them as well like you don't have to wait to the end for something to happen and I always really like that. I only read the first one so far but 
I really want to read the other ones as well. I think there are three books in the series, but the library is still closed, so maybe I'm gonna just buy them. But yeah, it's like science, so it's a lot different than books that I would normally pick, but it's so good and yeah, I, I'm really excited about the other ones, so yeah. So those are a few of the books that I really enjoyed this year so far. I read a lot more books than that. But yeah, those are the ones that I actually really enjoyed. I mean, I enjoy a lot of books that I read, but those are the ones that kind of stuck in my head. And I think those ones are the best. So for now, I'm just gonna stop rambling because I've been talking for a really long time, I feel like. And yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um it's a little bit different and again i'm still kind of nervous for this like but yeah anyway if you watched it all the way through then thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video <laughs> bye